Dear composers, we seriously need to talk. So there seems to be a repeating pattern when composers want to create YouTube content. Especially new and aspiring composers spend hours or even longer on creating the most beautiful YouTube videos. But then they are uploading their video to YouTube, publish it, and hardly anyone watches it. And then this series of events happen. These questions come up with, am I good enough? Why does no one want to listen to my music? Is this the right path for me? Should I quit? But please stop thinking right now, because it may be none of this. I mean, without a doubt, the most important thing about a YouTube video is that it contains quality content, right? But there is another important thing, deciding over the fact if your video can be found on YouTube or not. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is the YouTube SEO, or Search Engine Optimization. I know, I know, it kind of sounds pretty complicated, but it actually isn't. So please stick with me for a second here. And I promise, if you change just a few lines on your YouTube title, your YouTube description, and the text that you have used, that it can change the views, your subscriber count, and the discoverability of your video drastically. So let me give you a very simple example first about what you may be doing wrong. And then we take a look on how to fix this. And I promise you, this doesn't take longer than 60 seconds. So assuming you've uploaded a video on how you created your composition with a name, let's say, for example, The Beauty of Nature. So the title of the video would be The Beauty of Nature or not. So next up would be the video description. So you think about that it would be cool if people would follow your YouTube channel. So what do you put there as your first sentence in the video description? Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Or not. Next up would be the tag section. You think, what are tags? Leave it empty. Now let's review this quickly. We named our video The Beauty of Nature. We wrote in the video description, please like my video and subscribe to my channel or something. And about the text, you don't care at all. Now, even if someone would stumble upon your video, let's get into the mind of that person seeing your video and is about to decide whether to watch it or not. You probably know where I'm coming from, right? Also, you probably know that YouTube is run by an algorithm or machine learning. And this hasn't been created to hate you or make your life more difficult. It has been created to quickly spread your video to as many interested people as possible. So let me quickly show you how you can tweak and tune your video based on an example of one of my earlier and older videos. Okay, so this is one of my older videos. As you can see, it's from September 2019, so it's almost like three years old. So let's go through these fine tweaks that I think explains this video pretty well. So you can see that the title is Exploring Orchestral Tools Sample Library Time Micro, and I'm speaking that slow to really make you realize what is going on here. You know that we are going to explore a sample library from what company? Orchestral Tools. And what is the library name? Time Micro. So all is there in the title that the video is about. So this is what I meant in the previous example. If your title is only the beauty of nature, then nobody knows, is it a walkthrough video of your composition, the beauty of nature, or is it a movie title, or is it a book title, or whatever. Hope that makes sense. So let's hop onto the video description. You can see that the first sentence, the first line in this video description is, in this video, we are exploring Orchestral Tools new sample library, Time Micro. So you may have noticed that the video description basically contains exactly the same words as in the title. And this is very important. If I would have written orchestral tools without an S at the end, which is a stupid example because the company is called orchestral tools, but I uh, think you know what I'm trying to say, then it would be different. If I would have said, we are going to explore and down here, I would have said we are exploring, explore and exploring are two different words. Make sense? So coming back to the previous example, the beauty of nature, let's assume 
The Beauty of Nature is a movie soundtrack and it is an orchestral soundtrack and it's emotional and you want to do a walkthrough of that. So maybe change the title to walkthrough of my emotional and orchestral movie soundtrack, The Beauty of Nature. By now everyone would know that this is a walkthrough of your movie soundtrack, The Beauty of Nature, that is emotional and based on orchestra, so it's orchestral, right? Now let's get to the video description. Most important thing here is that you're using the exact same keywords that you have used in the title, also in the first paragraph of your video description. It is very important that you use the exact same words. It is not so important that you use the words in the same order as in the title. So now heading to the text section, you basically do the same. You use the keywords in the text section that you've used in the title or in the video description. So in this case, it would be walkthrough and then emotional and orchestral movie soundtrack. It could be a long keyword. It can also be orchestral movie soundtrack. It could also be only movie soundtrack. Most important thing is that you use these words in the text section also. So coming back quickly to my example here, you can see that I've actually used a lot of text, but you can see that orchestral tools is a tag in here. Then we have sample library as a tag in here and we have um, time micro some here up here and just in case you're wondering why my youtube gui looks a little bit different this is a little tool called tube buddy i put the link in the video description below you can download this for free and you see your seo score that is currently going on in this video and this is the combination of your title the description and the text in this case i was a good boy and got a score of 100 and this is basically what the machine learning algorithm of youtube needs if you feed it correctly it will work correctly in your favor so now do yourself a favor and pick one of your videos from your youtube channel that you would like to see some more views on apply the things that we talked about in this video and you should see some positive Positive results happening during the next days. So did you see this video and tried it and you got some positive results? Please let me know in the comment section below. Okay, so that's it. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Please give it a like if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel in case you haven't already and hope to see you soon on another video. Thank you.